Division, strife. So we're looking, we're looking for strife. What is the meaning of strife? Angry or bitter disagreement over fundamental issues. Angry or bitter what? Disagreement. Disagreement over fundamental over issues. Over fundamental issues. There's something wrong with your brain. You're a Christian and you're into strife. Angry over every little thing, every small thing. <laughs> I just saw one of our, one of our sisters here. Now, this sister was doing something for the Lord. Okay? This sister is married to somebody. And the one she's married to was involved with somebody else in the church some time ago, many years ago. That person's friend. You, you the bab, or you know the bab. So this young man is married to this. Let's say I'm married to my wife, and I used to date uh, mommy years ago. Do you see? Uh huh. Mommy's friend is the lady behind. What's your name, my dear? Angela. Do you get it? Angela. So they, they were dating a long time ago, years ago, and then we broke up. Now I'm married to this woman. We are all in the same church. So Angela saw my wife doing something with, for the Lord, and she was supposed to come and report to the person. Angela was supposed to come and report to my wife. When she came and saw that my wife was the one doing that particular work, she got angry and started fighting my wife because I broke up with her friend years, about five years ago. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? You see, that person is a very foolish person. But, ah, that's, it is clear, it's a clear sign that you were a baby in your, you were a child. Can you imagine a person was a pastor? The person was a pastor. So, pastor, you can have the name pastor, but you were a baby. You were a baby. You have big diapers on your big bottoms. Bottoms. Eh? Yeah. You're a big baby. How can you be fighting about something as fundamental and as nonsensical as this? She, she's fighting, disrespecting the lady because ooh, your husband went out with my friend five years ago and it didn't work. So I am now, I have now come after five years to come and fight for my friend. Ah. Babies. Yeah. Strive divisions, causing divisions, saying things that bring divisions. Do you know that this person did this? Hey, so if, you are, if you are the kind of person who talks about ancient things, like things that happened in people's lives so many years ago, and then you are still holding on to those things and you are discussing with people, you are, you are crazy, there's something wrong with you. Trying to cause divisions. You don't know they are causing divisions, you are causing divisions. Eh, this person did this to me. How many years ago was that? Four years ago, she did this to me. Ah, four years ago, you have graduated. You have done first degree in this problem. Hey. Hallelujah. Tell me, but don't be like that. Don't stop being a child. No more prolonged infancies, please. Ephesians chapter 4. Verse 14. Look at Ephesians 4.14. 14, message version. He says, No prolonged infancies among us. Please. Have you seen it? No prolonged infancies. You have been an infant for so long, a spiritual infant, a spiritual babe, for so many years. Same problems, same troubles, same challenges, same issues. Five years. You have done first degree, you are doing second degree in the problem. The, what you used to get angry over are the same things you are still getting angry over. Ah, what is wrong with you? Someone did something to you some three years ago. You are still three years ago. <laughs> One day, eh, someone was talking about it. A certain man of God did something against me. Are you listening to me? A certain man of God I know somewhere. 
did something against me. Very painful. And when he did that thing to me, I was talking to the Lord. You see, I didn't talk to people. I, I, I talked to the Lord when something bad, someone does something. I talked to the Lord to find out what he has to say about it. Whether I have a right to be angry about it or I don't have a right to be angry about it. Do you understand? You don't just become angry. Ask the Lord before you become angry. When you ask the Lord, the Lord says, be angry. Then you be angry. Ah, the Lord says, be angry and say not. It's in the Bible. It's scripture. So he can tell you, be angry. React. Sometimes something can happen and God will say, why are you not reacting? React. React or else they will take you for a fool. React. Yeah, you need to, the Lord needs to be the first con- point of call. Not your emotions. When something happens now, hey, am I the one I'm talking to? Um, Allah, you don't know me, eh? You will mention Allah. You will not say Jesus. You will mention Allah. Because you are coming to fool. <laughs> so I asked the Lord, what's, what's all this? And God told me that. This is what God told me. He said, this is an opportunity for you to rise to a higher level or to fall to a lower level. I said, what are you talking about? He said, when someone does something to you and you don't forgive the person, what you are doing is this. You have kept yourself on a certain level. The person can ask for forgiveness from me in his closet without you being there. And I will forgive him. And he will continue with me. Whilst you are still holding on to your grudge. So you will not be promoted. But he will be promoted, even though he's the one who did that to you. He will apologize. He will apologize to me in his closet. You don't know anybody's personal life with the Lord. Maybe what you are holding on to, the person has asked for forgiveness from the Lord, but not from you. <laughs> and it's fine with Jesus Christ. And you are not fine. Do you understand? Yeah. When someone tells you something about somebody, it's an opportunity for you to go higher or to go lower. How you handle information makes all the difference. Hey! What do you think about what I'm saying? Yes. 